Hi there again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sharing our unit study shelves on a butterfly unit we began about three weeks ago. mostly focused on the study of monarch butterflies and painted lady butterflies as we have been able to observe painted lady caterpillars and their life cycle. Alright, so first I'm going to go into as much detail as I can about our display. Anatomy of a monarch butterfly and monarch caterpillar poster to go with the anatomy labeling worksheets and these are from a monarch bundle download from my shop. Chopsticks we used for cleaning our caterpillar cups. Fandex Family Field Guides, The Butterflies of the World. This accordion style field guide is really jam packed with information covering life cycles, diets, habitats, and more. I think there are 50 different species of butterflies in here and all with realistic photos and illustrations. I've laminated and placed on a ring binder fun fact cards, which are also from the Monarch bundle in my shop. These are slides from learning resources and our pocket microscope to use with it. I did haul these in our spring haul video. This butterfly poster is part of over six butterfly freebies I have in my TPT store. The link to all of my freebies will be listed in the description box, so go check it out. And in this small net, we have one cup or one set of our painted lady caterpillars, which are currently in their pupa stage. So we're waiting for those to emerge. This cocoon is of a moth and we actually found it outside on a nature walk. So it's just displayed here on our nature table. This twig basket is a handcraft that we worked on together. You might have seen that in a previous video. And it's holding these ceramic bugs that the kids also painted. Nature Anatomy book, which is part of our set by Julia Rothman. And this is to go with our life cycle display. We did use this book as a resource plenty within this butterfly study, as it does have several pages on butterflies. And in these baskets, I'm storing loose parts that we use as manipulatives for math or just for play. Leftover materials from butterflies and dragonflies we made while discussing or through a lesson on the differences between the two, the differences between a butterfly and a dragonfly. In here, I'm holding Life Cycle three-part cards, which are also from the Monarch bundle. This awesome wheel back here is from Dollar Tree. And although it is incorrect in regards to the life stages, there are actually only four, and emerging is not factually considered a stage on its own. But for a dollar, it's still a wonderful resource. As you spin the wheel, it 
displays facts about each stage, uh, such as the phase length and just other great information. Here in the corner, we have our DIY color tablets, which we used for several activities and play. Which is different? Cards, and these are butterfly themed. If you've seen my previous videos, you know that I love creating these for the kids. So the card has four images, four squares, but one square of image is different than the rest, and the child is to identify that. Pairing it with a manipulative to make it hands-on, of course, or you can also provide a pointer for the child to point to the different image. And this is great for cognitive skills such as critical thinking, logic and reasoning, and of course, visual discrimination. Butterfly numbers and math symbol cards, and these are part of that awesome series of freebies that I have in my TBT store. Uh, we have been using these in many different variations as well. I've been using the math symbol cards with Bella, my kindergartner, for greater or less than practice and also for simple addition and subtraction. Pairing it with these little wooden butterflies, which are normally used for crafts, and I found them on Amazon, but we've been using them as fun math manipulatives to display the number quantity if needed. With my toddler and preschooler, I've been giving them lessons on a simple number sequencing and counting, and then again, using those uh, wooden butterflies as manipulatives to uh, show a visual representation of number quantity. The possibilities for these open-ended cards does not end there. They can be used for number lines, for filling in missing numbers, for skip counting, for sorting even in odds. pattern block mats and the block chips and these are part of the good and the beautiful math k activity box and you might have seen us incorporate these in previous videos as well uh, for this shelf work i just pulled out the spring related mats my preschooler and kindergartner truly enjoy this work which is great because patterns are a big fundamental in math and this activity is also for developing those critical thinking skills logic skills and visual discrimination. Moving on to an art coloring page, which I've included two different books here, and Bella's favorite colored pencils at the moment, which are the Crayola uh, scented colored pencils. So the Dover coloring book, you've seen me haul this one and other ones in the book series. I like to purchase them on Amazon. They're about three to four dollars. I really love that there is a factual summary on each page that relates to the illustration. I also included an insects and bugs sticker activity book, and this is by Paper Craft. I buy these at AC Moore craft stores for one dollar. I love the realistic photos and illustrations, they're beautiful, and the book also contains a lot of educational information. how much I enjoy creating file folder games for the kids and how much they love using them. So this is a butterfly themed one um, and the first part here is just a display on the parts of a monarch butterfly. And then on this side I've created a little game of symmetry uh, or matching the other half of the butterfly wing. Um, so again great for visual discrimination and logic. These are a memory card matching game uh, and more for my series of butterfly freebies. 
And I'm sure most of you are familiar with memory matching cards, uh, which is a fun hands-on approach at developing uh, memory skills, logic, critical thinking, visual discrimination, and also great for concentration. Memory card games are also great for on the go to put in like those restaurant kits or uh, busy travel kits. Basically, the gist of this card game is in which all of the cards are laid face down on a surface and two cards are flipped face up over each turn. The object of the game is to turn over pairs of matching cards. Two part and four part puzzle cards for some symmetry work. And these are more from my series of freebie printables. Now, I've already pre-cut them and laminated them for multiple uses, but you can even pair with scissors and have the child cut them and then provide glue and paper or a canvas for the child to adhere the puzzle back together. The Grimm's Color Spiral Mosaic Puzzle. Bella was in need of a different skill level of puzzle, so this is one I invested in. These pieces can be arranged in many different ways to create all sorts of beautiful designs. Truthfully, the skill level can even be for adults, as it's more of a freeform puzzle. Wonderful for stimulating creative thinking. Our Monarch Butterfly Life Cycle Display. For this, I used a wooden round from the craft store. I drew arrows on a smaller piece to represent the perpetual cycle, and the life cycle figures are from Safari LTD. With the display, I encouraged pairing the three-part cards. Bella enjoys labeling, so this was the most naturally logical variation of this activity for her. And my younger ones enjoy a simple object to picture match using the figures. And on several occasions, I also ask that Bella sequence the correct order of the life cycle. I came up with a game for Bella where I read out the fact summary to each stage and then Bella was to match it to its respective illustration. Count it and clip it butterfly cards, encouraging the child to count how many butterflies are on the card and provide a clothespin for the child to mark the respective number. The clothespin is also great for strengthening those pincers muscles. I Spy Worksheet, another freebie printable. I placed it in a dry erase sleeve to pair with a dry erase marker. However, my kids prefer pairing it with a fun manipulative to mark off as they've found each butterfly. It's not moving? No, no, this one. No, not moving anymore? No. It's going to start molting into a chrysalis wow. soon. Oh, they're attached up there. Look at it. Yep. We attached them up there. And he's here. Hi, Bella. Hi. What are you going to do today? I'm going to recycle it so I can cover this cow. Okay. I see a goat and baby. I see a chicken and baby. Lots of babies. I see a chicken and lots of babies. That's right. We and or a and 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 he can hop. Die. He can 
swim. I do have to say that our favorite resource and lesson within this butterfly unit um, was being able to care for caterpillars uh, firsthand in our schoolroom and witness the metamorphosis into the beautiful painted lady butterflies. We are so thankful and blessed that we were given this caterpillar kit by a family member. Um, and then of course releasing them, which was such a beautiful spring afternoon. So I encourage you to keep a lookout for my next video. It's going to be on our experience with our caterpillar kit and my top tips in caring for them. And of course, a lot more clips on the whole process. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for your love.